As a Jew, it is my responsibility to locate injustice and attack it wherever I find it. And today is no exception. I receive phone calls and emails daily from passionate, devout people who truly love God and His Torah, who want nothing more in this world than to join Kal Yisrael, but are blocked by the Jewish community in their area. Some of these people have been practicing Judaism for over 20 years, firmer than you or I, but have not converted because the act has been made illegal by the rabbis in their area. I actually took a trip down to Columbia about three months ago to notice an armed security guard in front of the synagogue store stating that if someone's name is not on their list, they're not getting in. Now, this is the practice of all synagogues in Latin America and most of Europe, if you didn't know. And it's truly a Hillel Hashem to stop someone who truly loves God and his Torah from entering the Jewish community or even a shul. It's truly unbelievable. We see the same problem currently in the state of Israel where so-called religious parties like Shas vote for classifying all Jewish converts as second-class citizens. Also, I hope the U.S. would remove the tax-exempt status to all Syrian synagogues who do not accept sincere converts, because this is a tragedy. Why, do you ask, why does this go on in the Jewish community? Well, it's just one answer. Racism. Do you know that the average convert is more zealous and devout for the Torah than the average born Jew? So I'm making this video to let everyone who's suffering with this problem know that I feel their pain. And on behalf of those silly Jews worldwide who do such things, I'm sorry. And I'm here to tell you to start your own synagogues and have nothing to do with the other detestable ones. Your synagogues, unlike the other ones, should be open to all and act as a standard for the others to adhere to. For example, do not count anyone who's Mahal Shabbos or not Shomer Mitzvahs in a minion. By doing this, you will not only show your love for Torah, but keep out the secular racist Jewish rabble that causes such problems. If your Hebrew is not good enough to pray, then pray in your own native language. If you don't have a safer Torah, use a Chumash. The purpose of the Jew in the world is to be a light for the rest. And if they fail to do so, or more than just fail, but keep others from entering under the Shekhinah, they should be stripped of their Jewish title. When Jews act like this, they are responsible for the anti-Semitism that comes their way. Why? Because when Jews fail to care for the rest of the world, the world won't care for them. As it states in the Gemara when it speaks about Timna, it says that she was of royal lineage, that she wanted to be converted. It, it says that she approached Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, but none accepted her. Then she went and became the concubine to Esau's son, Eliphaz. And through her was born a Amalek. Why? Because the patriarchs turned a sincere convert away. And I hope that every synagogue that partakes in this huge desecration of God's name either does tshuva or closes down. Thank you.